Oh yeah. What's up everyone? Andy Kruger here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to train the recall. Let's go. Hey, come. Hey, come. Yeah, that's a boy. By far the biggest behavior dog owners struggle with is getting their dog to come when called first time, every time, no matter what. I get a lot of questions on this topic, so I thought this video would be the perfect opportunity to show you the very first training session I do with any dog or puppy on the recall. So if what you see in this video, if your dog can't do that in pretty much any environment, definitely don't move on, definitely don't take the leash off, et cetera, et cetera. It's gonna be basic, it's gonna be simple. I got my little buddy here, five month old golden retriever. Hey buddy. He's brand new, he's here for training camp. One thing his owners really want is for him to come when called, first time no matter what. So we're here to build the foundation for that. Things you need before you get started. You need a dog that's food motivated, number one. Number two, you need a little dog bowl. Number three, my retractable leash. Retractable leash, bad for taking your untrained dog on a walk through the neighborhood, good for recall training, and that's attached to a little flat collar that he has. I have my food apron. I have Fink's kibble in here. It's late morning. This is his breakfast. He's earning it. Let's get to recalling. Take your bowl. Place it on the ground. Place some food in there and then get out. Is that simple or is that simple? And I know everyone, oh Andy, come on, what about the e-collar? What about off-leash? What about at the dog park? Zoop, zoop. Thousand repetitions over a month. You heard it. Handful of food, bang. Obvious what I'm doing. I'm putting a handful of food, a hand what? A handful, a handful of food in Fink's bowl, just enough to keep him occupied for me to go back 20 feet. And then as soon as he finishes, I call him. I can give a little nudge with the leash if necessary, and he comes and he eats from me. And then I rinse and repeat. I am conditioning the reflex of he hears the command and goes whoa, whoa, whoa. the worst thing I could ever do for recall training is unclip his leash let him run around a bunch and then call him because I don't have any real training I'm basically just rolling the dice at that point and that's the quickest and easiest way to completely obliterate your dog's recall command so bad trainer don't do that. Retractable leash. Back to the ball. And I like the retractable here as opposed to the long line because it gathers itself up for me when he goes to recall. Check it out. So I have food. I come back. You can come with me. Food in the hand. Now watch the dog. Think. Come. It's going. It's going. Boom, he gets back to me, he's eating, and my leash is nicely co collected right over top his head, so I don't have to do this with a big long line. Now the reason I'm using the bowl with the food is because puppy wasn't born yesterday. He's, he's food motivated, I come out here, I have his food on me. He's not gonna really wanna stray that far away from me 
after I do this a couple times. So the food's just a way to keep him occupied over there and not just follow me as I walk away from him. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Watch, I'm gonna give the leash a little nudge when I call him. Watch the leash here. Think, come. Yeah, that's a boy. You need to absolutely perfect this in your backyard over weeks, over months. Then you should be able to take this exercise anywhere. The front yard, the pet store, the hardware store, any invite, not the dog park. How dare you? Once the dog understands this drill, you should be able to take it anywhere. And when the dog performs it proficiently everywhere and anywhere, then we can start to move on. Oh, Andy, what happens when you move on? You're not done with the first steps yet. Quit skipping ahead. Why wow, you always got to look to the future so much? You got to master this first. This is what I do with every dog, regardless of age, breed, problems. They play keep away. Hey, they come when called great. Look at them. Fink, come. See what happened there? He ran over the bolt to check and see if there was any food. And I use that as an opportunity to call him to me. I call him, he beelines to me, I pay him. Call him, beeline, pay. Call him, beeline, pay. What would happen if for whatever reason I called him and he stood like a statue there and he didn't budge? Why do you think I got a leash on? My leash can go, I'm making it happen. I'm making it happen. So don't do it off leash yet. How dare you? Okay, we'll do one more for the road. Big boy. Fink, come. Nice boy. And you feed that puppy right away. Don't worry about sit, eye contact, making them wait. You're conditioning the reflex to beeline to you when they hear the word. So don't worry about a fancy finish yet. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hopefully this helps. Would love to hear some feedback. Get you a shirt. Link in bio. He bites. Patreon.com slash Andy Kruger. If you like this training session, you're going to love what's on the Patreon. Fink, thank you for your help today, bud. That was really good. Really good stuff, buddy. What better way for your puppy to earn their breakfast? They're outside. It's a beautiful day. You're outside with your dog. The dog's eating. The dog's running. The dog's engaging with you. You're conditioning behaviors that you want. Win, 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 win. How's that a bad thing? Get you a leash, get you some food, train your dog. Perfect this in the backyard first. Perfect in the backyard first. Happy training, y'all. We'll see you on the next video. Come on, Finky boy. Here we go. Heel sit. Negative reinforcement, ready? We're healing, we're healing, we're healing. Sit. Very good boy. Andy, why'd you pull the leash? He was about to sit anyway. It's not about correcting, it's about applying negative reinforcement. I use the leash regardless of what he's gonna do. This is proofing. Watch how I heal forward. I'm not gonna say heal and go. I'm gonna say heal. And then go. Heal doesn't mean walk straight forward. It means be on my left side. Heal. We're gonna stop. We're gonna sit. I'm gonna use both my leash and prong and my remote collar. Sit. I say the word sit, I pressure up on my leash, I pressure on my remote, Fink puts his butt on the ground, I relieve the pressure, and then I praise him. Hey, big fella. Hey, big fella.